Hi, this is Design Tutorials and in this video we are going to learn how to justify text in Adobe Illustrator. So let me show you uh, what do I mean by justify text. Here I have got two paragraphs, uh, text paragraphs and in the first one you will notice that it is perfectly aligned from the left left end but on the right side it's uh, quite irregular and random and on the other hand this paragraph is perfectly aligned from both ends from the left end and the right one it's pretty straight so this is called justified text and this is left aligned so this is our normal default or problem case and this is our solution or the target for this video so uh, we are going to learn how to do this thing in Adobe Illustrator and in order to do that uh, let's begin with um, the type tool in Adobe Illustrator I will select it and let me uh, clear a concept of type tool here is that it works in two ways the first way is with a single click and the other one is by creating a type box so let me show you both uh, so that we understand why this justified version works sometimes and why it does not So the first way of using type tool or the way we use it is that we uh, Just do a single click and whenever we do do a single click like this uh, It will create a Text layer for us, but the problem with this text layer is that I can just keep typing and typing and It has no boundary it will just keep typing unless I press enter and then it will move to the second line and then I can just keep typing and typing and it will have no boundary uh, unless I press enter again so because it has no boundary so how will the Adobe Illustrator identify uh, what to align it with so yeah it can align it from the left end but how will it uh, align it from the right side because it does not know where is the boundary of it and uh, if you think maybe it's uh, we can it can go with the, uh, the enter key it cannot because here I press enter at this point and maybe here I will press enter at this point so what's defining the boundary nothing can define the boundary this way so uh, that was first way of uh, using the type tool and I have uh, explained what's the problem with this if you want to justify a text which is created with a single click uh, you just cannot uh, not in a normal way at least so this this was first way of uh, using a type tool the second way is by creating a type box uh, in uh, in this case instead of just doing a single click I will draw a box okay I will hold my click and I will draw a box and once it's drawn it will be like this now it has a boundary of uh, uh, a boundary or a container for it but you will notice again still it is uh, aligned from the left side but it's not aligned from the right end uh, and this is because it has if you will notice on the top if your text layer is selected you will find these settings on the top or in the property panel here okay now the problem with um, this uh, top settings is that it only displays three options to us here I have selected this I have three options at the moment it is left aligned if I will click on this one it will be center aligned okay and when a text is center aligned it's uh, random from both ends and the third one is right aligned okay so there is no uh, option for justified text here so that's why a lot of designers uh, the new ones uh, they miss or they uh, struggle in finding how to justify the text so I will um, show you this example again and for in this case as it is left aligned all you need to do is you need to go to this paragraph you need to click on it and it will open up this um, these settings okay and here you will find all kind of uh, alignment options the starting from the left align center right now this one is the justified these four the first one is it will justify all text except the last line it will keep the last line to the left 
uh, for example this case this is justified from both ends but the last line is left aligned uh, this is center if I will uh, let me show you this one if I will click on it and if I go to paragraph you will notice at, at the moment it, it is justified with the left um, the last line to be left this is justified but it will keep the last line in the center this is justified but the last line is in the right side and this is justified it will keep everything justified it's like it will open up the text make gaps and spaces in it in order to make it touch the both ends okay so this is what we used uh, in most of the cases anyway this was the solution but let's uh, uh, let me um, demonstrate another solution to another problem uh, which is also quite common so which is uh, even uh, though we find the solution to our justification uh, problem and this alignment is uh, can be solved easily by going to this paragraph and clicking on justified there is something which we miss a lot which is these hyphens you will notice even if I justify it I have justified it now still it is making these hyphens in some words uh, I'm sure you will be able to see it I will zoom this section so you you will notice there are these hyphens a lot in a lot of words on the other hand in this paragraph there are no hyphens right so what is making these hyphens appear and what's uh, making it not appear here so let's solve that problem as well because uh, these hyphens uh, look uh, quite bad uh, in terms of appearance so how to fix it you need to go to paragraph again uh, this must be selected and here you will uh, notice this option called hyphenate by default it will be checked all you need to do is uncheck it and that's it now you will notice all the hyphens are gone and it has created spaces and gaps in order to keep everything justified without making any hyphenated words in your paragraph text so that's it uh, I hope this video was helpful to you thank you have a nice day